Let's begin with some definitions. Mechanical energy, the sum of all the kinetic and potential energy of an object is referred to as mechanical energy. Next, conservative forces. A force is conservative if the work done in moving an object from one point to another against the force does not depend on the path taken. Let me illustrate. <laughs> Let's suppose I want to lift a ball up to the top of a table. You know that if I lift it up against gravity, the work done is MGH. But do you realize that it doesn't matter what path I take to get there, the work will always be MGH? If I took a path as shown there, and no matter where I put it on the table, the work done is still MGH. The total energy at the top is MGH because I'm only dealing with work in the upward direction against the gravitational force. It doesn't matter how I get there. Therefore, it's called a conservative force. The work will always be the same. Um, now, uh, also about a conservative force, if I lift it up and put it somewhere on the table, then reverse by any path I want to, the work at the bottom is zero. Because remember, the positive work is up, negative is zero. I'm back where I started. The total work is zero. And this means that all energy then must somehow be conserved here, or the mechanical energies. So here are some other things to observe. When only conservative forces act in an object, the kinetic is converted to potential and potential to kinetic. I'll illustrate that in a moment. And finally, the law of conservation of mechanical energy. In a frictionless system, mechanical energy is conserved. Strongly, I suggest, put all these definitions on flashcards and read them over. Here's an illustration. Suppose I'm going to throw a ball up and down. Now you know that let's suppose I'm going to look at where the ball leaves this lady's hands. It now has kinetic energy. Pretend that's my zero line of potential energy too. And all the kinetic energy. But then as it's moving up, there's a distribution of kinetic plus potential. The potential is increasing. The kinetic is decreasing. And at the top, it's all potential energy. There was, it was converted into potential. And we can say, though, the total energy is always constant. The kinetic plus the potential will give a constant number. We can write uh, the potential uh, kinetic initial plus the potential initial will equal the kinetic final plus the potential final. Now let's suppose the zero reference line is at the lady's feet. Now let's suppose that I want to initially see what's happening right there where the arrow is, and then finally where that arrow is. Well, the point is, energy will be completely conserved. The total of the kinetic plus the potential where I start initially will equal the final kinetic plus the final potential at that point where that arrow is. Now in the next clip I will show you two sample problems to help make this clear. So I suggest to you immediately uh, move on to the next clip and we'll look at some problems.